Next, we will talk about the interaction between the independent variables. So basically, we have three types of interaction. One is two binary variables that interact each other. Second is one continuous and one binary. And finally is the two continuous variable case. So they can satisfy all the different scenarios. So let's take a look at the first one. If you in the population, you assume that this is the weak population regression model why are you the beta 0 plus beta 1 the dummy variables which can, can only be 0 and 1 plus beta 2 d 2 i again and, and other dummy variables so the limitation is that the effect of change in d either d1 or d2 say the change in d2 is the same for no matter whether the person is d1 equal to 0 or 1 or not Therefore, this is some kind of limitation that we should overcome. So to be more specific, let's take a look of an example. So assume D1i is whether you, there is a graduate or not, whether D2i is the gender, and the Y stand for your salary. So it says that, okay, no matter whether you are gender, is male or female your marginal effect of whether you take college graduate or you have no graduate your increase the change in graduate will be the same for the for both male and female well this may not be true because in some society there may be some gender discrimination or in some jobs they require male more say the construction companies so we cannot assume that okay we can ignore the gender effect on the effect of the change in the college or education level therefore we did we will change the population regression model by a little bit so we interact with d1 and d2 and the new formula will be beta 0 plus beta 1 d1i plus beta 2 d2i plus beta 3 we introduce one more variables called d1i times d2i so okay if d2i is zero say if this is a female okay then the formula become yi equal to beta zero plus beta one d1i and if d2i is equal to one say this is a male then yi may be equal to beta zero plus beta 1 d 1 i plus beta 2 plus beta 3 d 1 i then this is equal to beta 2, 0 plus beta 1 times beta 3 d 1 i okay then here we can see that we can separate the gender difference so this is one type of gender this is the other type so the effect of education level takes beta 1 for this type and the effect of education takes beta 1 plus beta 3 in the second type so we can separate the population in two parts okay so second is the continuous variable interact with binary variables so the binary variables again take an example maybe the education level gradually or not while x is a continuous variable maybe the experience of job so the more experience the higher experience the higher salary so the model can be okay either y i equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x i plus beta 2 d i plus beta 3 they're interactive terms so what happened so here I missed the error term so sorry for that so what happened if we don't add these interactive terms so if we don't add these interactive terms the effect of accumulating experience will have the same effect no matter whether the workers is graduate or not so again this is not reasonable right mate so the student worker with graduate degree should has a higher effect on the experience well, therefore we add this interactive term 
such that if the i is zero, say they this they are not so the worker are not, are not graduate, and the equation become y i equal to beta zero plus beta one x i. Okay, this is the marginal effect of increasing your experience on your salary. But if the worker is graduate, say d i equal to one, y i will be equal to beta zero plus beta one x i plus beta two plus beta three x i plus u i. So assume this is zero. Then this is equal to beta zero plus beta two plus beta one plus beta three x i all right then you can see that the effect of increasing experience is higher for the graduate or at least different from beta 3 okay so this is a type of the um, interaction between the binary and the continuous variable so actually you have another type so maybe you can just write down beta 0 plus beta 1 x i and we drop the dummy variable and directly say that beta 2 times x i times d i well then in this case if dummy variable equal to 0 y i is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x i and if dummy variable is equal to 1 the y i become beta 0 plus beta 1 plus beta 2 times x i so what is different between the part b and part a so part a we assume we also assume the intercept is different so and in part b we assume they have the same intercept so it depends on which situation you are you are in so you can use both or or you can use the f test or t test to see whether this is significant or not or oh, this is significant or not, then you can select the best case. So finally, finally is the interaction between the two continuous variables. Okay. So the third case is the interact with two continuous variables that means both A and B are continuous in this case y i equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 i plus beta 2 x 2 i so this is at usual plus finally beta 3 x 1 i time x 2 i then in this case we can see that the change in y with respect to change in x 1 is equal to first beta 1 second beta 3 times x 2i so now the change in y with respect to 1 x 1 is no longer just equal to beta 1 but also depends on the level f of x 2i then similarly changing the y with respect to change in x 2i is beta 2 plus beta 3 x 1i so again change in the value of y with respect to change in value of x2 also depends on x1 so this model is useful when you are talking something that okay change in one variable depends on the other variables so here are the we finished the three cases of the complicated regression model